Good morning, children. I have read your uh, comments on our GZ, and I found out that most of you are having a hard time with regards to addition and subtraction of the similar fraction. So that's why I, de I decided to make a video on how to add the similar fraction without the grouping. Next time with the grouping. Let's proceed. Let us consider this equation. 3 over 4 plus 1 over 8 is equals to n. Okay, let us copy first the given. So we have... Now, what kind of fractions are they? They are called the similar fraction. Can we add right? Can we add them right away? No, we can't add them. So what are we going to do? Now, this time we're going to solve this problem using the butterfly method. So to add the similar fraction using the butterfly method, first, get the cross product. How are we going to get the cross product? We can get the cross product by simply multiplying the numerator 3 or the numerator of the first fraction, which is 3, and the denominator of the second fraction, which is 8. So that is 3 times 8 will give you 34. And then, multiply the numerator of the second fraction, which is 1, and the denominator of the first fraction, which is 4. So that is 1 times 4 is equals to 4. And then finally, multiply the denominators to, I'm sorry, multiply the denominators 4 and 8. That will give you 4 times 8 is equals to 32. Now, the product of the numerator 3 and the denominator 8 will be the numerator of the first fraction. While the product of the numerator 1 and the denominator 4 will be the numerator of the second fraction. And the product of the denominators 4 and 8, which is 32, will be now the denominators of both fractions. So as you see, from 3 over 4, it becomes 24 over 32. And 1 over 8 becomes 20, F becomes 4 over 32. So from the similar, they are now similar fraction. Now, since they are similar fraction, we can now add them. Okay. Just follow the steps in adding similar fraction. How do we do that? Just simply add the numerators and copy the denominator. So that will give you 24 plus 4 is equals to 28 and then copy the denominator 24. Now, <coughs> 20, 28 over 32 is not in lowest terms. So what are we going to do? We need to reduce it or we need to simplify it. How are we going to do that? By dividing the numerator 28 and the denominator 32 by their GCF. And what is their GCF? That is 4. So that is 28 divided by 4 is 7 and 32 divided by 4 is 8. So that will be now our final answer. Uh, I will give you one clue, children. Uh, to tell uh, whether a fraction is in lowest term, look at the given or look at our answer. 7, the numerator is 7, the denominator is 8. What can you say about the numerator and denominator? They are consecutive. When you say consecutive in Tagalog, it means magkasunod. Now, if, a numer if the numerator and the denominator are consecutive, the fraction is already in lowest term. Is that clear, children? Let us go now with the next Okay, let us consider 2 over 6 increased by 3 over 8. So, what do you mean by the word increase? It means addition. So, let us now have this mathematical statement. So, we have 2 over 6 plus 3 over 8. Again, doing the same step. So, get the cross product, multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction. That will give you 2 times 8 is equals to 16. And then, multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. That will give you 3 times eight, um, three times 6 is equals to 18. And then finally, multiply the denominator 6 and 8. That will give you 48. Okay. Now, the product of the numerator 2 and the denominator 8 will be now the numerator of the first fraction. While, the product of the numerator 3 and the denominator 6 will be now 
the numerator of the second fraction. And finally, the product of the denominator 6 and 8, which is 48, will be now the denominators of both fractions. Again, from the similar, they are now similar. That means we can now add them. And we already know how to add similar fraction. We just simply add the numerator and then copy the denominator. So let us add the numerators. We have 16 plus 18 is equals to 34. Then copy the denominator 48. But 34 over 48 is not in simplest form. So what are we going to do? We need to reduce it. How? We need to get the GCF of 34 and 48. What is the GCF? Okay, that is 2. Let us divide them both by 2. 34 divided by 2 is 17 and 48 divided by 2 is 24. So that means 17 over 24 is our final answer. Now, look at 17 ever, but then look at the numerator 17 and the denominator 24. Is there any more is there any common factor between them except from one? Okay, none. So that means 17 over 24 is already in lowest term. Okay, let us have another example. This time, let us have mixed, mixed number by mixed number. So these are the steps in adding mixed number by mixed number. To add mixed number with the similar fraction using the butterfly method, first, separate the whole number from the fraction. Okay, so I will separate first 5 and 2, and then we have 2 over 6 plus 3 over 8. And then, next step is add the whole number. 5 plus 2 is equals to 7. And then, add uh, add the fraction using the butterfly method. First, we need to get the cross product. So, that will give you now 2 times 8 is equals to 16. That will be now the numerator of the first fraction. And then, 3 times 6 is equals to 18. That will be now the numerator of the second fraction. And then, multiply the denominators 8 and 6, that will give you 48, that will be now the denominator of both fraction. So, from the similar, they are now similar fraction. So, we need to add the numerator. So, that is 16 divided by 18 is what? But before that, let us copy first the whole number. Okay, so we have 16 plus 18 is equal to 34 then copy the denominator 48. So our answer now is 7 and 34 over 48. But 34 over 48 is not in those terms. What are we going to do? Again, we need to simplify it by dividing the numerator and denominator by their GCF. And again, the GCF is 2. So we need to divide them both by 2. So first, let us copy the whole number. Okay, 7. That will give you... We have now... 34 divided by 2 is equals to 17 and 48 divided by 2 is equals to 24. So now our final answer is 7 and 17 over 24. I hope kids you understand our discussion. Now if you have any question, just kindly um, text me or chat me so that... <coughs> um, I will give you some, an activi uh, some activity on how to add the similar fraction. Okay. Next time, um, we will, uh, I will show you how to add the similar fraction with regrouping. For now, okay. goodbye children. See you next time.